Government's efforts in the fight against corruption have been praised by various stakeholders. This follows the forfeiture of several assets and incarceration of those who have been found on the wrong side of the law. Governance expert and political analyst Ngande Mwanajiti says UPND's significant gains in the fight against corruption cannot go without commendation. I think in that context what we must do is to commend the current president, HH president, and this administration for doing a lot in terms of uh, ensuring that our assets are recovered. It was extremely important that assets which belong to Zambian people are recovered and the fight against corruption is intensified. The Southern African Network Against Corruption, ZANIC, is pleased with the Anti-Corruption Commission's efforts against corruption. The one overriding issue that we have to accept here is that a lot of the funds which the government is going after went missing during the last regime. That is a priority. So obviously you're looking for the people who were in charge of those funds in the last regime. So it makes sense that those who were in charge for 10 years and those who are responsible for the bulk of the missing money would be the ones that you would go after. The church too has added its voice to the debate, reaffirming its stance on zero tolerance to corruption. The word of God in Proverbs chapter 17 verse 23 it says a wicked man accepts a bribe behind the back to pervert the way of justice. So for us as evangelical fellowship of Zambia corruption is wickedness and it should not be tolerated in a Christian nation like ours. Rosemary Kamanga, ZNBC News in Lusaka.